Hey, welcome to this uh, radio QSL video and four more cars today. First one from Radio Vilnius. Uh, it says Ukraine, but it was not Ukraine. It was uh, Lithuania. I think Radio Vilnius was in Lithuania back then. So for a nice little card here from uh, the only one I have, I believe, from Radio Vilnius. And we have here in the back this little information. This 19 November 83 at 20... 200 hours UTC, I believe. So, um, written out on the card here. Then we have Radio e Radio Argentina al Exterior, Radio Diffusion Argentina al Exterior, which is still on air on 11. The best time for North America that I've uh, noticed is 11.710. It's actually a little higher, they're off frequency, something like. 11710.6 or 7. Uh, they have English at I think it's 0200 and um, here in Montreal they're hard to get but usually around the equinox um, around like spring um, spring and autumn yeah it's not the uh, the equinox the um, I don't remember the other name uh, but around spring and around uh, fall you know like somewhere in late February March April they should come in better these are the, pretty much the periods where they come in better and um, sometimes they have an okay reception but uh, they're hard they're hard to receive here in North America and this is for a report of uh, that we see here. Very nice, dear Jim. Many thanks for your exceptional report and letter. We're glad that you enjoy our broadcast and do hope that you soon come one of our um, current radio listeners. I look forward to hearing from you, yours truly. And so this is for a report. And you see at the top here the report, the information that it was written here for. Uh, 15345 at 0, 0200 hours UTC. And that's for a report of 17 July 1984. Radio Exterior. I believe they still QSL. If you want to try it out, why not try to listen to Radio uh, RAE, Radio Diffusion Argentina al Exterior. Radio QSL, uh, Radio Kuwait QSL, these are from the 80s. These were really long. I remember you would send a report to Radio Kuwait back then. I don't know today. First, I don't know if they still QSL. And if they do, uh, I don't know how long it takes today. But back in the 80s, I remember I'd send a report to Radio Kuwait. And it took from six to eight months before I'd get a reply. These were nice QSLs because they were like unfold if, if we look here at the uh, QSL itself they kind of unfold into this uh, detail and here at the bottom you had the uh, little stamp from the station and this is for report 22 February 1984 on 11675 at um, 200 hours UTC and uh, this had like all the information on the state of Kuwait and the radio station, the powers used, which is nice. It was uh, original to have like a, this little fold out QSL card type. And so this is another one here for Radio Kuwait. And uh, these are from the 80s, of course. This one, I believe, unfolds also. So here you get this one unfolds in another another way. So you see here, they send, show this. Uh, map of their transmission area and uh, basically that would be done good big a big qsl here you can see here here and in the back you'd have uh no no details on this one but there's probably um a qsl they just didn't fill it out because i would send out qsl requests for these stations so radio kuwait uh, why not try it out? Um, they're hard to listen to in the winter. Here in North America, they're in um, in English from 18 to 2100 UT every day on 15540. The biggest problem of 15540 is in the summertime, propagates really well into North America. And I mean from uh, something like um, April up to maybe September, 
you uh, usually have really good reception of Radio Kuwait. But in the winter time, like now in middle January, 15540 is almost impossible to listen to. If you hear it, you hear it maybe half an hour of the old three hour transmission. So uh, they, you know, really should change their frequency and lower it to maybe an 11 megahertz frequency, but they don't do it. They just leave it on 15540 all of uh, the year. So um, now a little hard, but as the days are starting to get longer, um, take a peek every now and then and you should, uh, between 18 and 2100 on 15540, you should hear them. And why not try to QSL them? See if they still QSL. Um, uh, that's one of the things that I'll try to do actually. So uh, these were the four QSLs, uh, Lithuania, Argentina and Kuwait. Hope you enjoyed these uh, QSL cards look and series and uh, thanks for watching 73.